Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I will do a side-by-side -side comparison between Google Assistant and Gemini to see which one is better in basic, moderate, and complicated commands. Both assistants will run on the Pixel 8 Pro to ensure consistency. So without further ado, let's jump in. First things first, I will give a point to each assistant for providing the correct answer and if both did it correctly, I will give extra half a point for the better outcome. And now let's start with the first command. Set a timer for 5 minutes. Second timer for 5 minutes. Starting now. Okay, 5 minutes. Starting now. Start the stopwatch. Start. In this command, Google Assistant opened the right app, but it didn't start the stopwatch for some reason, and I tried a few times but with no joy. In contrast, Gemini said that it cannot control apps like stopwatch, which is weird, as it was able to set a timer just fine. So both failed to do a very simple task. Set the alarm at 7 a.m. You got it. Your alarm set for 7 a.m. All right. Your alarm set for 7 a.m. Turn off Bluetooth. Turning Bluetooth off. Turning Bluetooth off. Take a selfie in 10 seconds. All right. Get ready. Okay. Take a portrait photo in 10 seconds. Got it. Get ready. Got Turn off auto brightness. Turning adaptive brightness off. Turning adaptive brightness off. Convert 179 centimeters to inches. 179 centimeters is equal to 70.472 inches. Sure. 179 centimeters is equal to 70.47 inches. Centimeters, inches, 179, 70.47. Convert $200 to AED. $200 equals 734 United Arab Emirates dirhams and 58 fils. Multiply 5 by 6. The answer is 30. Subtract 5. The answer is 25. Divide by 2. The answer is 15. I was shocked that Google Assistant gave the wrong answer in this command. It ignored that I subtracted 5 from the original number before the division and gave me 15 instead of 12.5. But what I liked is I didn't need to touch the screen even once thanks to the continued conversation feature and it was faster. In contrast, I had to tap the mic with every command while using Gemini. It was much slower, but it gave me the correct answer at the end. Reply, Happy Valentine's Day. Who do you want a message? Who do you want a message? In this command, Gemini used Google Assistant and both responded the same exact way, which is incorrect. And this is the second time Google Assistant makes an unexpected mistake, which is driving me crazy. As I tried all of these commands in my previous videos and it used to work just fine. Plus, this is not one of the 17 removed features Google announced earlier this year. Send a message to my UAE number. What's the message? Hi, how are you today? Sending your message to my UAE number saying, Hi, how are you today? All right, what's the message? Hi, how are you today? Sending your message saying, Hi, how are you today? Send a voice message to Imad UAE on WhatsApp. Just so you know, audio messaging will no longer be available starting at the end of February. Hmm, I'm not seeing that name. What's the spelling? E-M-A-D Which Ahmad? The second one. Alright, what do you want to say? Hi, how are you today? Ready to send it? Yes. Sending your message. Hmm. I'm not seeing that name. What's the spelling? E-M-A-D Which Imad? Imad U-E-E -E. So, that's a message to Imad U-A-E saying, them voice message, ready to send it? No. What's the new message? Send a voice message. I got, send a voice message, ready to send it? Cancel. All right. This command was even more weird. Both used Google Assistant but responded differently. The original Google Assistant did the command properly but it reminded me that this feature will be discontinued 
while Gemini insisted to send a normal text message without mentioning that this feature is no longer available. Navigate to the nearest gas station. Okay, chill out gas station Vodafone 2. Let's go. Sure, here are driving directions to the nearest gas station. It will take three minutes to get there. Both got the correct answers, but Google Assistant did navigate to the gas station right away, which is more useful, while in Gemini I had to tap the screen to start the navigation, so half a point extra to Google Assistant. How long does it take to Mall of Arabia by car? With light traffic, it will take you 20 minutes to get to the Mall of Arabia by car. It should take about 20 minutes to get to the Mall of Arabia by car. Turn off the air purifier in 10 minutes. Got it. I'll turn off the living room air purifier at 3.34 a.m. All right. I'll turn off the living room air purifier at 1.50 a.m. Start my bedtime routine. What time should I set the alarm for? Cancel. No problem. No new alarm set. Good night. Play relaxing music. Playing relaxing. Remind me to call my friend tomorrow morning. Sure, I'll remind you on Thursday at 8 a.m. Remember that I owe my friend $200. Okay, I'll remember that. What do you remember for me? Here's what you told me. Remember that my parking location is B7 level 2. Okay, I'll remember you parked B7 level 2. I'll also save a map of your current location. Where did I park my car? You told me you parked B7 level 2. You were near here at the time. Add bread, milk, and the cheese to my shopping list. Sure, I added those three things to the list called shopping. When it comes to reminders, Gemini is useless, and it couldn't process any of my commands, plus it didn't even trigger Google Assistant as it usually does in these situations. Read my notifications. You've got new messages from Ahmad Hussian and backend user partner validation. The first one is from Ahmad Hussian on WhatsApp business. You've got new messages from Ahmad Hussian and backend user partner validation. The first one is from Ahmad Hussian on WhatsApp business. Here both did exactly the same thing, only reading the new messages and ignoring all other apps. Show me the actors of the Godfather movie. Here's what I found on the web. Who's the director? The Godfather was directed by Francis Ford Coppola. What's the year of production? 1972. Here are some of the main actors in the Godfather movie. Marlon Brando as Don Vito Corleone, the aging patriarch of the Corleone. Who's the director? What's the year of production? Show me the top rated pizza restaurants nearby. I found a few top rated places near you. The first one. Pizza Cottage. Here you go. What's the working hours? There are a few locations. Here are their business hours for today. Navigate. Which do you want? The first one. All right. Pizza Cottage. The first one. What's the working hours? Navigate. I just wanted to let you know that it took me 1 minute and 20 seconds to finish this command on Gemini without fast forward which is way too much. Plus it didn't navigate automatically while Google Assistant took 40 seconds and did everything without touching the phone, so half a point extra to Google Assistant for starting the navigation on its own. Show me my Burj Khalifa photos. Start a voice recording. Alright, get ready. Got it. Read this article. Google Gemini can now create images from text. In this command, Google Assistant started to read immediately, while in Gemini, you must tap the Add This Screen button and then say Read This Article, which is a longer process. And Gemini is much slower too, so half a point extra to Google Assistant. Now let's try some complicated and less frequent commands that should give the edge to Gemini and see how Google Assistant will respond to this. Flights to Spain, best timing, average hotel prices, and things to do. Flights from Cairo to Spain leaving March 2nd and coming back March 6th start at 8,935 pounds. Sure, here's a guide to help you plan your trip to Spain. 
Best time to visit Spain. Shoulder seasons, April to May and September to October. I asked a long list of related questions to plan my trip. Google Assistant only provided the flight's information while Gemini answered all the questions. But it had a technical issue that didn't allow it to get the flight's information. Even when I tapped on try again without extensions, nothing changed. But this issue doesn't happen all the time. Plus it provided me with images and more. So the win goes to Gemini and Google Assistant is not designed for this type of questions. Backpack hiking checklist. Here are some results from the web. While Google Assistant did answer correctly, but again Gemini gave me a better experience in terms of details and how things are visually more pleasing to go through. So half a point extra to Gemini. Tell me the time to leave to reach Mall of Arabia by 5 a.m. With light traffic, it will take you 20 minutes to drive to the Mall of Arabia. In this command, Google Assistant just told me how long it's gonna take to reach my destination, which gets the job done. While Gemini gave me the time to leave, which is exactly what I asked for, but for some reason the time was incorrect. It says 1.53 a.m., which is more than 3 hours before 5 a.m., and the destination is only 18 minutes away. I tried the same question in my previous video, and it gave me the correct answer. So it's not consistent, and you need to be careful as it doesn't always provide the right information. In this case, I will give the point to Google Assistant as Gemini's wrong answer defeats the purpose. Show me all the emails from Fitbit in my inbox. In this command, Google Assistant added the primary label at the end of the search query, so it didn't return any results. By manually removing the primary label from the search, Fitbit emails started to show up. On the other hand, Gemini gave me a summary of the email subjects, which is nice, but it only showed 20 messages, while in reality I have 76 emails based on my manual count as shown now on the screen. So I will give the point to Gemini aside from the incorrect count for at least showing the information and a summary while Google Assistant didn't handle this one properly. Create a cover letter template for a customer service manager job. According to Resumaker.ai, I am writing to apply for the customer service manager position at XYZ company. Sure, here's a cover letter template for a customer service manager job. Write an email to help desk to report that the admin panel doesn't load, showing a blank page. Here are some results from a search. When it comes to writing emails, Google Assistant doesn't support this functionality, but you can rely on a separate feature in Gmail called Help Me Write to achieve this. Plus, Gemini responses can be modified using five different writing styles like longer, simpler, more casual, or more professional, so the point goes to Gemini. Generating photos is another advantage that goes to Gemini, while the best thing you can do with Google Assistant is to get web results that matches your command, which is not ideal in this scenario, so another point to Gemini. Moving to identifying objects, both work pretty much the same way. In Google Assistant, you need to show the photo and then tap the search screen button, which uses Google Lens, while in Gemini, you tap on add this screen and then say the command. In this scenario, Gemini is better as it provides more details while Google Assistant does a basic search, so half a point extra to Gemini. In identifying products specifically, Google Lens integration in Google Assistant is much more accurate than Gemini. In this example, I was able to get the exact same sweatshirt online while Gemini gave me totally different options from the same brand. And that's always the case based on my testing, so in this scenario, the point goes to Google Assistant. Last but not least, the offline support. Google Assistant supports offline commands like starting the timer, change your phone settings, and more. While Gemini requires internet connection regardless the command, which gives the edge to Google Assistant. So these are all the commands I wanted to try, and now let's sum up everything. If I'm gonna choose between the two, definitely Google Assistant is the way to go for many reasons. First, it's much better in the normal day-to-day -day usage, it's faster, and has offline support. While Gemini is more useful in the less frequent things like writing emails, creating templates, or generating images. So I will use it as an app for these rare situations, at least for now, up until Google optimizes things for all use cases. So that's pretty much it for today. That was my comparison between Google Assistant and Gemini. Please let me know in the comments what do you think. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.